Hi there and welcome to this brand new SketchUp rendering tutorial using Aerial Vision. So today I'm going to go over another very interesting feature of Aerial Vision which is the feature to add translucency to objects in SketchUp or actually to add that to any material in SketchUp. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is uh, in the office model which we've used for a couple of previous episodes as well and uh, throughout each episode of this tutorial series we're making the uh, office look much better or at least we make the renders of the office look much better and today I thought it would be good to add a wall divider to uh, the model because uh, it is quite a big room quite a big office and I can imagine that people would want to divide this office into uh, the office area and maybe into a living room area uh, so therefore I thought you know I'm going to add uh, this wall division which you see right here but as you can see you cannot actually see through it and therefore no light is coming into this new created living room area so if I would render it this is what it would look like you can't see through it because I've not done anything about the translucency but now I'm going to show you how easy it is to add translucency to materials in SketchUp so in order to do that you've uh, got to go to the material that you want to make translucent then uh, make sure that you've got that selected then right click and then go down to aerial vision and then uh, re-added material and then uh, yeah in the presets you see uh, the option of translucent if you click on that you'll see that something changes because the transparency goes to 50 percent which you can of course change that yourself manually as well because if you want 30 percent or 75 percent you can all do that but um, for this first render to show you what it can do I'll show you uh, 55 percent because I felt like that would be a good number and then just choose uh, exterior with sun or at least in this case I'm going for exterior with sun so that you also see uh, the light from the window coming in and um, I uh, just choose the regular high resolution in case you want to know how you can change the resolution of your images and what all the lighting presets mean you should definitely check out one of my other uh, aerial vision tutorials that I've made but um, then once you render it this is what it looks like and as you can see uh, this looks much better already because light is coming in through the wall divider and still there is a division between the walls and you can sort of see what's happening in the office on the other side but still you've really created much more privacy which you wanted with the wall divider but still light is coming in but now say you want a little bit more light to come in and uh, to see a little bit clearer what's going on at the other side then you can go for a translucency of uh, say 75% that's what I went for for this render um, but you can also uh, make it less translucent so then lower the transparency in the menu uh, to 35% and then this is what it looks like and again you see uh, a small change there it's not a big difference as we're talking about but especially if you really want to make it as photorealistic as possible it is important that you can make these slight changes uh, which is definitely possible uh, in aerial vision here so um, yeah this was a very quick tutorial to show you how you can add translucency to your SketchUp model in uh, using aerial vision and as you just saw it's very easy to do you only have to get through a couple of steps and then you've got uh, much more realistic translucency in your model and keep in mind that you can use this for anything any material in SketchUp so in this case I went for the example of a wall divider but you can use it for anything from glass to any other material so um, it's definitely a very helpful feature so thank you for watching this tutorial and then I hope to see you back in another tutorial very soon goodbye